In February 2014, a international group of scientists met at the United States to discuss and to propose a manifesto for post-materialist science. What basically this manifesto proposes is first it questions the materialist scientist. Materialism is a belief that everything in the universe is composed and explained by matter and physical forces. For example, life, mind, human beings, everything would be composed and explained only by matter and physical forces. This is a respectable belief. Many scientists and philosophers hold this belief, but this is not a necessary belief for science or for being a rational being. The problem with materialist scientism is that uh, the materialist scientism claims that materialism has been proved by science, that science has proved that matter is the only thing that composes the universe. But this is not the case. Science is a method of investigation of nature, and we, have, we can have several different perspectives about the constituents of the universe, the ultimate constituents of the universe. The problem with the materialist scientism is sometimes that it becomes also a kind of dogmatism that does not allow other possibilities to be discussed, to be presented, tested, and discussed. Very often, all non-materialist perspectives of human being, of mind, or of the universe are dismissed as just superstition or religious beliefs. However, uh, it's not clear yet in science or even in philosophy what are the ultimate constituents of the universe. And what we, the scientists who signed the post-materialist science manifesto, we believe that mind is one of the ultimate constituents of the universe. We claim that the mind, that mind is not reducible by to matter or physical force. Of course, mind interacts with mind and physical force, but it's not specifically the same thing. The idea is that mind should be taken in consideration seriously and investigate several kinds of experiences that are often dismissed because they do not fit in the materialist paradigm. For example, spiritual experiences, like near-death experiences, like mediumist experiences, and even extrasensorial perception experiences. Very often, very well-controlled studies and well-controlled observations are dismissed before being deeply and seriously investigated and taken in consideration. What we claim is actually uh, open science, open but rigorous science. A real science, actual science, needs to be very rigorous, but at the same, t at the same time open. So we need to be open to different hypotheses to explain phenomena, different hypotheses to explain mind, to explain spiritual experiences. And these different hypotheses needs to be tested very rigorously. And we need to see which kind of hypothesis, materialist, non-materialist hypothesis, can resist more to tests, can resist to falsification, and can explain a wider range of phenomena. That's basically the major purpose. What we claim, what we ask is for a science that's really committed to the scientific spirit. Openness, but at the same time, very rigorous.